Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have successfully got the authorization code. Okay, and we are keep continuing with the OAuth flow and we will use this authorization code and get the access token. Okay, so for that, I just need to hover on this request start query. So you can see here, we have also shop name and we have a code, okay. So we will use both these uh, variables. So I'm first going to end this and then i'm also need to pass the shop okay and inside the helper i'm just passing also shop okay and here we need to create the url first we say auth uh, that it will be more better that i can say shopify auth url and here we need to say it https and set the shop okay and then we need to say it admin OAuth and access token. Okay, access token, and then we need to bind the parameters client ID. So we get process.env dot client ID, and we also need to bind client secret. So we say client secret, and we get that from client process.env dot client secret secret and we also need to place the code so we say here code from the code variable okay and offset i think now we need to build the axios so we say data await axios and here we need to set the url will be shopify oauth uri method will be post okay and i think we have a data so we just need to set empty object and nothing more than that then we say response will be return response response okay and then find cage error you need to return the error okay first need to place two breakpoints here and here need to format the code and at the bottom we need to return data and all sorted i think we have all the things here we just need to say request dot query dot shop okay and need to start the api once again okay navigate to the browser so we say localhost api shopify authorize shop we have got the shop we have got code continue we have got the response okay inside the data you can see we have access token okay so i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session if you have any query regarding this session then just place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries or suggestions via my shared contact details and hopefully we will come back with another session regarding the what flow and scopes and other apis available with the shopify take care bye bye